Please do sit. I need a bit of help with this. Where's Alex gone? Alex? You're going to come and help? Alex is going to help me light the advent candles. Partly because it's lovely having a child to do this, and partly some of you might remember that last time I did something like this, I nearly set the altar on fire. <laughs> Oh, it's time to go out. <laughs> now it is time to awake out of sleep, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and to put on the armour of love. I'm not doing a very good job with the light here. Thank goodness Jesus' light is a bit more consistent than mine. Right, Alex, let's have a drink. God, our Father, you spoke to the prophets of old, a saviour who would bring peace. You helped them to spread the joyful message of his coming kingdom. Help us as we prepare to celebrate his birth, to share with those around us the good news of your and love. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light who is coming into the world. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Teresa, and thank you, Alex. I hope you all got the uh, copy of, of the service. It's in the, these orange books. We've broken away from Advent for today because of Freya's baptism. So we're using these orange books. So we begin our baptism liturgy. At our Lord's baptism in the River Jordan, God showed himself to all who have eyes to see and ears to hear. The Father spoke from heaven, the Spirit descended as a dove, and Jesus was anointed with power from on high. Here is the door of faith, through which we enter the kingdom of heaven. As children of God, we are adopted as his sons and daughters and called out to proclaim the wonders of him who called us out of darkness and into his marvellous light. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, by the power of your Holy Spirit, you give to your faithful people new life in the water of baptism. Guide and strengthen us by the same Spirit, that we who are born again may serve you in faith and love and grow to be like your Son, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And we now sit for our Bible reading. The first reading is from Romans chapter 15. Whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, so that by steadfastness and by the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another, in accordance with Christ Jesus, so that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another, therefore, 
just as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. For I tell you that the Christ has become a servant of the circumcised on behalf of the truth of God, in order that he might confirm the promises given to the patriarchs, and in order that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, Therefore I will confess you among the Gentiles, and sing praises to your name. And again he says, Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And again, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all the peoples praise him. And again Isaiah says, The root of Jesus shall come, the root of Jesse shall come, the one who rises to rule the Gentiles. In him the Gentiles shall hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And this is the word of the Lord. So we stand to sing our second hymn, which is Give Me Joy in My Heart, and it's number 201, 201. Please remain standing if you feel able for our gospel reading. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. And all flesh so, shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness of Judea, proclaiming, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. This is the one of whom the prophet Isaiah spoke when he said, The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Now John wore clothing of camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and honey. Then the people of Jerusalem and all Judea were going out to him, and all the region along the Jordan, and they were baptised by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, you brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruit worthy of repentance. Do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptise you with water for repentance, but one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptise you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and will gather his wheat into the granary but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. I speak in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. I did tell uh, Canon Janet when she asked me to take the service today that I uh, I probably won't preach, um, but she pulled a bit of a face, and uh, so here I am. Uh, but it's very short. There are um, appropriate readings, of course, for a service of baptism. There couldn't be more appropriate. 
the readings once again remind us that the Lord's arrival is imminent. John the Baptist knew this and devoted himself to preparing the road for the one who would follow. And he gives us a serious message. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. We have to remember today particularly that God always looks on the inside as well as the outside. We can't fool him into thinking we are something that we are not. You can give lots of money to charity and still be an unloving and uncaring person. You can come to church every day of the week and do any number of good deeds and still be living a life that is far from God. It is a sign of spiritual mute, mute maturity when we realize that it is not the things we do necessarily, but the person that we are that is really significant. We are none of us good enough that we have no need of God's forgiveness. We all need to repent from our innermost thoughts and hearts. John, what a wonderful character John was. John offered baptism by water to the people who came to him confessing their sins. It was a sign of their repentance. It was up to them as it is up to us as it will be up to Freya as she grows up, to show in our lives that repentance is a reality. John's message is blunt. The tree that constantly fails to produce fruit will be cut down and thrown on the fire. We are taught that John's baptism of water effected no interior change in the person baptized. His baptism is contrasted with the baptism of fire and the Holy Spirit that Jesus Christ offers. This baptism is dynamic and it gives new life. And that is what we are all offered by God. Responding to it and receiving it gives us every reason for confidence. We are in the season of hope and we all must have hope. God is a God of mercy and he has promised eternal life to all who repent. But with such grace goes responsibility. We must live lives of repentance, which may well mean changing the way we live. For with winnowing fork in hand, Christ will eventually clear his threshing floor, gathering his wheat into the barn and burning the chaff in everlasting fire. Such an image like that reminds us of the real importance of repentance. There will come a day when everyone will realize that the mercy of God is not something that simply makes churchgoers feel good. 
but something upon which we all depend for our very lives. Amen. And so let us pray for those to be baptized. We pray for the church and for the world and for Freya as she begins her Christian journey. Faithful and loving God, Bless those who care for and support those to be baptised and grant them your gifts of love, wisdom and faith. Pour upon them your healing and reconciling love and protect their home from all evil. Fill them with the light of your presence and establish them in the joy of your kingdom. Dear Lord, we pray today for Freya as she is welcomed into the Church of St. Lawrence and into the Christian faith. Help her to know your love and enable her and all of us to grow in your image. We give thanks for all who are called to serve in the ministry of our church and pray for the clergy and volunteers here in Northfield. May they continue to be guided and supported by you. Lord, in your mercy. Hear that. We pray for peace in our world. We think of those who struggle against injustice, for those who have to fight for peace in violent and oppressive societies, and for those whom war and famine have robbed of their homes, their families and their friends. May they be filled with your strength and wisdom. Where the love of man has failed, may your divine compassion heal. Lord, in your mercy. In today's society, many people question the relevance of the church in their lives. Help us to be witnesses to those we live and work with in the local area, so that the presence of God is alive in our community. Help us to be the answer to those questions by what we do and how we live our lives. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those we know who are sick, sad or lonely, particularly any of our church family who cannot join us today. May they find comfort and bravery in knowing that your presence is always beside them and that in your hands they are safe and loved. Lord, in your mercy. Before God, we remember all those we have loved who are no longer with us in this life when we feel sadness and despair because of the loss of a loved one, we pray that you will be with us, a light in our darkness. May you bring rest to the departed and bring them to everlasting glory where there is no more pain or suffering for them. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, you want the whole world to welcome Jesus and be joyful at his arrival. This Advent, help us to use this time of waiting to make positive changes in our lives and the lives of others around us through prayer, through thought and in what we do. May we proclaim the Advent message through our kindness, generosity and through the way we live our lives. And we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father. Hallowed be thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. 
Um, I'm going to ask uh, Richard and Zoe to stand with Freya and uh, Alex and Thomas, where, wherever they may be. But he doesn't. Oh, it is. Alex, well done. And also um, Freya's godparents. Now, we don't know. We know, we, 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 we know the family because we see them in church but we don't know the godparents. So I'm just going to ask Richard if he'll introduce them to us. Welcome to you today. You've got a very special job to do, and I'm sure that you're really excited about it. It can be a bit expensive as well at times because it's... That's right, those of us that are godparents have to remember all kinds of things and um, it, it can be a bit pricey. But you're welcome here today at St Lawrence's uh, on this very special day for you and for Freya. We've got Anna in the middle there. We've got Jorge. He's Spanish. He's from Spain. He's come a long way. And we've got Rosie on the end. When you join any organization, you have to agree to follow the rules. Have we got any cubs or scouts or brownies or any? No? Have we got any old scouts or old old brownies? Oh, a few down here. Yes, yes. One or two. Well, you perhaps remember your promises that you made all those years ago. Well, today uh, I'm going to ask parents and godparents to make their pre uh, promises for Freya. Jesus said, let the children come to me. Do not stop them. We thank God for Freya, who has come to be baptized today. Christ loves her and welcomes her into his church. So I ask you all, all of you here today, will you support Freya as she begins her journey of faith? Will you help her to live and grow within God's family? And this, these questions now, the decision, just for the godparents and the parents of Freya. We all wander far from God and lose our way. Christ comes to find us and welcomes us home. In baptism, we respond to his call. Therefore, I ask you, parents and godparents, do you turn away from sin? Do you reject evil? Do you turn to Christ as Saviour? Do you trust in him as Lord? Now, most of us will like to gather round the font, which is at the west end of the church. Uh, if you're a younger person and you can't see because you're behind a large grown-up person, please come to the front so you can see what is happening. There's nothing more frustrating than being in church and not being able to see what's going on. So we're going to go to the West End, to the font, and we're going to sing on the way. I have decided to follow Jesus. I'm on page nine. Parents and godparents, it is your duty and joy to tell Freya of her baptism and enfold to her the treasure that she has been given today. By the grace of God, may you tell Freya about the love of God, and by prayer and example, bring her up in the life and worship of the church, so that in due time, she may come to make her own response in faith and love 
and to share in the communion of the body and blood of Christ. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Freya, by one spirit, we are all baptized into one body. We welcome you into the fellowship saying, Heavenly Father, we love you. I'm going to give Freya a dove made by one of our congregation, just as a symbol of the Holy Spirit to people. Perhaps I'll give it to mine, and it might get you or something. Yeah. We are all one in Christ Jesus. We belong to him through faith, heirs of the promise of the spirit of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. So we offer one another a sign of peace in any way that uh, you fancy. The hymn for the offertory is number 406, Long Ago Prophets New, 406. With this bread that we bring, we shall remember Jesus. With this wine that we bring, we shall remember Jesus. Bread for his body, wine for his blood. Gifts from God to his table we bring. We shall remember Jesus. The Lord is here. <laughs> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love, you made us for yourself. When you turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You remembered us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ, you shared our life, that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love on the cross and made for all perfect sacrifice of sin. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of what he is. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. We do this. His blood is shed. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, Send your Holy Spirit, that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. 
holy. Be on the stone. Hey, the Lord, he powers the crystal forever. The door, he We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. The way we are receiving at the moment, um, the priest is dipping the bread in the wine. We're not drinking from the chalice. As you come forward, the wardens will direct you to come forward. Um, Father John will be inside. So those of you on this side of the church, come and receive from John and then walk around that way back to your seats. Those of you on this side of the church, come down this way and that way back to your seat. Those of you in the chancel are coming to you first. If you don't normally receive the bread and the wine, if you haven't been baptized, do please feel able to come forward for a blessing. Father John and I would like to pray over and sing. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Page 14 of those orange books. Eternal God, our beginning and our end, preserve in your people the new life of baptism. As Christ receives us on earth, so may he guide us through the trials of this world and enfold us in the joy of heaven, where you live and reign, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And just a few moments of quiet that we may pray for Freya as she begins her Christian journey with her mom and dad, Richard and Zoe, with her two brothers, Alex and Thomas. With her godparents, Anna, Orhe and Rosie. We pray for them all this day. Give thanking, thanks to God for their faith and their love for him and for one another. We ask our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. 
I'm going to pass over to Reverend Tracer for the bands. What an exciting day. Advent and baptism and bands. Have we got our bands couple in by any chance? No. I publish the bands of marriage between Edward Charles Masters Eaton of this parish and Ruth Isabel Trainer of St Mary's Mosley. This is the first time of asking if any of you know any reason in law why these persons may not marry each other, you are to declare it now. Wonderful. Let's just pray for them. God of love, we thank you for bringing together Edward and Ruth. As they prepare for their marriage, may they grow in love for one another and for you. Amen. A few notices. Um, the Nativity Festival was a success and it was featured in news stories all around the world, which was very exciting. So Canon Janet says a huge thank you to everyone who lent Nativity sets, who turned up, who helped with coffee, who helped in all sorts of ways. Um, some of the nativity sets have already been packed up. The others will be so shortly. So do pick up your nativity sets today, um, tomorrow after the Mother's Union lunch or during Holy Dusters. Or if you can't make any of, the, of those times, just contact Can and Janet and arrange to pick yours up. But thank you very much for the loan of them. Um, so as I mentioned, Holy Dusters, they are in church on Tuesday at 9.30 and then again on Tuesday the 20th of December for 9.30 for about 45 minutes so if anybody else can come and make the church sparkle that would be lovely. Um, Saturday is our community Christmas afternoon tea. Um, we're looking for anybody who's able to give people lifts to the Baptist Church at 1.30 and then again afterwards at 3.30. This is the lunch for those people who don't have anybody else to spend Christmas with. So if you can help with giving a lift, then um, details are on the notices or have a word with myself or Canon Janet. Next Sunday at 9.30 is the Chris Dingle service. Can you believe we're getting that close to Christmas? Um, so it's going to be a parade service. It'll be very family friendly. Um, Canon Janet says, please pick up a children's society envelope if you can to help raise money for them while we're doing that. So there won't be a Sunday, Sunday school service at 8.30 next week because we're all together for the Chris Dingle. Um, and the most important thing of all, Jeff says, Jeff's here, isn't he? Jeff says, 100 club subscriptions are due for next year. So do carry on supporting that. It's it's still at £12 for the year. Um, so have a chat with Jeff about your subscription for that. I think that's it. Thank you, Father John. I'm going, to, we're on page 14. I'm going to ask you to stand for the blessing and then I'd like you to sit down again uh, for the, the lighted candle. God give you grace to follow his saints in faith and love and steadfastness. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and with those whom you love and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Would you like just to be seated for a moment? You've got some light in the camera. I always think uh, the giving of